So today I just want to say a word of prayer to as many that are watching to me and they are experiencing things that I've mentioned right in this video that is affecting their marriage or relationship. I just want you to say this word of prayer this major secret that has been killing your intimacy for a long time, which is Welcome back to my channel, our channel. If you are new here, my name is Boo. I'm glad to see your face as much as you are seeing my face for the first time, okay? And to my returning subscribers, welcome back to this channel. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here again. And if you are seeing this channel for the first time, you didn't just stumble on this channel by mistake, so do well to join this family by clicking the subscribe button and you'll be glad you did, okay? Without delay, today we are going to be talking about then intimacy killer, you already saw by the title of this video, I just felt the need to point out things that we might think we might be doing consciously and unconsciously but we do not know that it's affecting our intimacy in our relationship, in our marriage, okay? So I just thought to point it out so that in case you are doing those things or I do not know, okay? There won't be any excuse. There won't be any excuse for you after watching this video. So sit back and enjoy this video. So number one thing I'm going to be pointing out in this video, which is common to everybody, everybody keeps saying it, is busyness. Everybody just says, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. And we don't know that intimacy can only be fed by creating time for it. Like the best food that you can give to in your intimacy, your relationship or your marriage is by giving it time, okay? Creating time out of no time to actually ensure that you are available for your partner or to your partner to to ensure that the intimacy and the closeness you have with your partner is still intact so if you have been saying i'm busy i'm busy lately or like for a while now i think you should change that ringtone get okay, that ringtone should stop now that ringtone has expired as of today so you need to start creating time for your partner okay the next one is resentment okay if you resent your partner or you do not even like seeing good your partner your partner just annoys you like when you see your partner you, you don't have good thoughts towards your partner that is another intimacy killer that you should watch out for you no know, you know if you don't want to be around somebody then there's no way there's going to go to intimacy like then you won't even like be truthfully trying to connect with the person okay so if you feel that you and your partner has been drifting apart lately then you need to check your heart out the way you see the person maybe you are, you are resentful towards your partner and you need to work towards like whatever it is that might be the cause you need to trace the cause of that resentment first then you try to like work on like ensuring that you maybe you need to forgive your partner or you need to talk it out but i just want you to know that resentment is one of the things that is killing your intimacy in that marriage right now okay the next one is exhaustion like you are easily exhausted you're always complaining i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired and truly you are tired okay for real you are tired like your body's tired when your body's tired you don't even want to do anything you don't even want to put time to be with your partner you don't even want to like be intimate in the other room other room <laughs> so and all that good stuff so if you feel that you are drifting apart from your partner then you need to like work on your schedule okay you need to work on the things you do the things that makes you so tired and you need to like try and try and look for a way to like ease yourself or so those work or those workload or those tension if you need to like delegate some of your work if you need to like break your work you don't have to do everything at once you need to like shift everything just to ensure that you are not always exhausted to create time for your partner okay one is an intimacy killer disrespect towards each other like you don't respect your partner in any way like your partner what they are saying doesn't even make sense to you don't even have any cause to even want to respect their opinion respect what they do respect respect their character respect their person you are always like antagonizing you're always like protesting against anything they say if they say a you are saying b or respect in all sense of it so this is an intimacy killer because nobody wants to be in a place or in an atmosphere where they are not respected when they are not honored when they are not appreciated and if not watch a video that i made on how to honor your husband i think that video should be up before this one i think you should go and honor you should i think you should go i think i say honor i think you should go and watch that particular video okay so this is what we are talking about an atmosphere that there is no respect nobody even you that are watching you don't want to be in that atmosphere so it's just a matter of time before the other person just it's just natural it's not like the person just consciously wants to like 
King the intimacy in the marriage. It's just like we disrespect that man be there they, are, they can never meet, okay? So the more you disrespect your partner, the more it, your partner used to it for you. So what I'm saying now is you need to work on that angle of your marriage. Maybe you are doing it consciously or unconsciously, but this is just like a gentle or a subtle reminder to you right now to work on that particular area so that your intimacy can be back and intact. Okay? The next one is where there is sense of entitlement and what do I mean when you just feel entitled like nobody wants to be objectified nobody wants to just be an object of ridicule like you are just having this sense of entitlement that it's just me 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 everybody wants to be in a place or be with somebody or be around somebody that values them and appreciates them not just doing something or asking them to do something because you feel that you are entitled to receive from them a perfect example maybe you just like feel that your that your husband will always like take care of you yes your husband must take care of you, obviously, but you do not be that kind of environment where you begin to feel like you are entitled to so many things. Yes, you, by the grace of God, your husband provides for you, or your wife does the house chores or does the things to make the house perfect because they have taken it upon themselves to take that role, they know they are where they are doing it. Never bring that entitled mentality into your marriage or this what they call see finish mentality into your marriage so much so that you don't even appreciate or value your partner. This is an intimacy killer, and it's just a matter of time before you or that closeness in between you or your partner is drifted away because they feel nobody wants to see in an environment where they are not appreciated okay this next one like it's so important it is called comparison or let me say lost comparison in the sense that you tend to begin to compare your partner with other people maybe as a wife you already like compare your husband or you compare your husband so much with your another man so much that you even say it to his face or you compare your wife to some other woman maybe in your office like the does this that does that so much that you you don't only really think it's your heart you know it's even bad to think it in your heart and you will not even say it to their face or try to compare it it is like it's just a matter of time before you went to this this is a, like a really really big a really really big intimacy killer that can just like uh, kill the joy and the intimacy in the mind because you will expect the person to always strive to be like another person and no two person and ever the same nobody wants to be in an environment where they are being like compared to other people or being compared to their efforts or their like whatever they are doing to ensure the relationship with marriage goes well goes goes well is being compared to what another person is doing okay so kill and eliminate the world called comparison like erase it from your heart or your mind towards your spouse and see your husband that your spouse as a, an imperfect person that is trying to attain perfection and can never be like another person okay so if you, if you just it's just a matter of like if you know that okay this person you can ask okay it's just like you can as well go and meet this person that you think that they have this character instead of trying to like subject your partner into being what they are not everybody likes to be appreciated for who they are okay and they want an environment whereby they can grow to be a better person so check that check that and ensure that you make amends with this one. It's a very, very top secret. You might not actually know, <laughs> but let me let me bust that bubble for you. Let me, let me reveal this major secret that has been killing your intimacy for a long time, which is selfishness. Okay? Selfishness is not something that anybody does consciously. Even if you do it consciously, it is 90% of doing it unconsciously that conscious that doing consciously because every woman being that is created on earth has this uh, mentality of me, 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 me. Even the Bible says that love your neighbor as yourself. Like you have to love yourself for them for your so it's just like the way we are built. Like it's just like inbuilt. It like, takes a lot of work and conscious efforts to always like live a selfless life, a life that like, puts other people first, a life that consider people's emotion or thoughts before you speak a word and all that kind of things. It's something that can kill intimacy in marriage if you are not careful because it's something that we do unconsciously trying to put ourselves first before any other but when it comes to marriage it's the other way around consider your partner as a mother you know what i'm talking about you have to consider your children so it's just a conscious effort that you have to put. so when you see that like the intimacy in your marriage is not it's not you know it's shaking <laughs> it's on two legs like the table is on two legs and it's shaking just check the way you do things and the order at which you put things is it that you're always thinking about me 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 what i need you have to start living a selfless life be kind towards your partner put your partners for first be thoughtful towards your partner like seek to please them at all times i know it's not easy but it's something that when you do you just create an atmosphere it's just like 
it's just like a force, it's just like a magnet. You just begin to attract that kind of attitude from your partner too. And at the end of the day, everybody's happy because I'm trying to please her. He is trying to please me. You know what I'm saying? So you need to check this area of your marriage, okay? The next one, this one is like a thermite. <laughs> it can destroy anything. It is called pride. And my people says that pride goes before a fall. Okay, so if you are <laughs> you're about to fall, just like be proud. So it is like a major intimacy killer. A proud person doesn't even see anything wrong. They think that they are perfect. They are the one that does everything right in the marriage. Their partner is the one that is doing the wrong thing and all that stuff. So they are always like in the right. They never, they know they do wrong. <laughs> do anything wrong so that kind of attitude can be an intimacy killer because you are always the victim and everything you're always crying copper that tears and all that stuff you know what i'm talking about you're always the victim while your partner is really no matter what you are not always ready to apologize you're not always ready to amend your ways because you do not see anything wrong with you this is a really 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 big intimacy killer because it's a matter of time your partner doesn't even want to have anything to do with you before you begin to beat them as a bad person or the antagonist or the villain in the relationship all the time they just want to excuse yourself from that kind of environment so if you are watching this video check yourself out. because the bible says that we should always remove the beam in our own eyes first before we should before we can consider trying to remove that one in our brother's eyes so check yourself first ensure that you are not being proud or just being like being the um holier you are not giving the holier than thou attitude in your marriage or relationship because it can kill intimacy your partner doesn't even have to tell you you know these things your partner might not even come out to tell you except you check yourself so that is why i'm making this so you can check yourself because your partner might not be communicating these things but if you watch this video and you're able to check these things that i'm pointing out to you then you will know where it's gone wrong and you quickly amend your ways okay the next point is fear and worry of course if your state of mind is not right or you have fear or you fear your husband or you are you are in an atmosphere or environment where fear and worry is just the order of the day of course it's going to kill intimacy because you are not even the right state of mind to even like be yourself not to talk of trying to be with another person so you need to work on yourself if you worry a lot and you fear a lot i think you know maybe you need to seek like you see a therapist or you need to pray to god and you need to like do things that will like ease your fear because god has not given us free of fear of power and love of a sound mind and they also say that we should not take any thoughts about tomorrow because tomorrow we work out itself so i think you need to work on this area because it's just like something that you, do, you genuinely want to care for the other person or be intimate or be there for the other partner but your own state of mind is not even right first so it is not your fault okay you just need to work on this area but you need to know that if you don't work on it it's going to affect your intimacy in marriage so please do work on it okay the next one is anger rage i call it anything you want to call it it is just anger is a secondary emotion that is born out of hurt maybe somebody hurt you or out of fear or out of just like bad vibes or bad energy it's just you just get angry and all that anger is an intimacy killer okay because when you're angry and you look like you have um, you have things in your mind towards your partner but if you know that you really want to build your intimacy in your marriage then you need to let go of the anger or things that have hurt you you have to forgive bear the fruit of forgiveness you have to forgive where you need to if you are really trying to save your marriage save your home save your relationship then you have to like just like let go of that anger okay you have to just the next point is lack of trust. This is very very important. What is it? what is what is a relationship without trust? If you don't trust your partner, then of course you can't be eating with the other partner because you're always doing FBI. Okay, you're always suspecting your partner. Whatever they do, you don't even believe them. You know, you don't even like trust their judgment, trust whatever they tell you. If they tell you something, you're already doubting it in so many ways. You know, you have these thoughts of my partner is always lying or my partner is not always is like coming out truthful about the situation or anything so it can kill your intimacy i think what you need to do is to have a sit down talk with your partner and iron out whatever it is that is causing this distrust or is causing you not to even believe anything your partner says because trust me that marriage or that relationship is in danger like is in a bad space right now if you don't trust your partner because it's not going to affect your partner marriage you know it's not going to affect your partner it's going to affect you that will be all on my list and i just want to point out that interestingly if you look at every most of the things i've pointed out today they are 
categorized as sin by God. Is it unforgiveness? Is it resentment? Name it, they are categorized as sin by God. And because God is about healthy relationship and love, because God Himself is love, so it's about maintaining a healthy relationship, a happy marriage relationship happy husband happy wife name it so god is all about that so he doesn't want you to like do things that not only sin against him but also things that is going to like destroy your marriage so today i just want to say a word of prayer to as many that are watching this um, video with me and they are experiencing things that I've mentioned right in this video that is affecting their marriage or relationship i just want you to say this word of prayer with me as we come to a close in this video just stay after me father lord please expose everything in my heart in my mind and in my life that is causing harm to my relationship and to my marriage right now i repent today please forgive me lord empower me by your spirit to become a better partner in my marriage in jesus name amen Man. I hope you pray that prayer in faith. So go today and go and amend the things that you feel that is affecting your intimacy with your partner. Do what you need to do to ensure that that, that, that marriage works. Okay? And I will see you in the next one. Until I come your way again. If you've not subscribed, please try and click the subscribe button because this helps me to know that I am impacting lives out there. Okay? And do well to like and share this video so as many people that you know that are going to make this video. God bless you all. Until I come your way again, stay blessed and I love you all. Bye.